Cherry decides to show her artistic abilities, but Professor Yum Yum finds it a good source of an experiment. Why don't we combine art and a cabbage? Add water to three different food colorings in three cups. Put Napa cabbage leaves into the cups. Let them soak for one or two days. As a result of the artistic experiment, we will get three bright cabbage leaves. Moreover, unlike a painting, they can serve as a snack. Can you hold a big apple on a single spaghetti piece? It's impossible! Don't even try, Cherry! You are just wasting the food. And if you take a whole bunch of pasta, you won't be able to break it so easily. Let's do an experiment. Prepare two blocks of foam plastic. Stick spaghetti into one of them. Cover the sticking pasta with another foam plastic block and put some extra weight on top. Together, the pasta pieces form a whole army of titans that could hold the weight of the earth, or at least of an apple. Now that's what we call team building. They are as strong as the 300 Spartans. I mean, spaghetti ends. Dr. Botany has a brilliant idea to combine Snickers and bubblegum. Though, the magic trick doesn't work. Then, Professor Adams suggests implementing a different scientific method. We need to calculate the formula of chocolate and bubblegum combination and add a missing ingredient. It's flavoring. Cut the chocolate coating off a Snickers bar. Melt white confectionery glaze in a double boiler. Add pink food coloring and mix it. And add a missing ingredient. It's flavoring. Cover the bar with the pink glaze. Let it harden. Print a Snickers wrapper with a pink background. Cover it with clear tape. Wrap up the bar. Hot glue. Cut the edge to make a zigzag. Hurrah! We've got pink Snickers. It smells like sweet bubble gum. And there is a real Snickers bar inside, though covered with pink glaze. Dr. Botany enjoys tasting a new chemical invention. Hey, doctor, don't eat that entire experimental material. Leave some for me and for the science. Professor Adam made cooling lemonade, but the only thing you can taste in it is sour lemon. Yuck! No wonder, because we are out of sugar. But we've got a Chupa Chups, who said that you couldn't make a sweet drink out of a lollipop. Unwrap Chupa Chups lollipops and put them into a Ziploc bag. Run, candies, run! Crush them with a hammer. Put the candy powder into water and mix it until it's completely dissolved. Pour the concentrated syrup into a bottle with some water. The only thing left to do is to add slices of lemon into our beautiful pink drink. Add water and pour it into cups. It smells like Chupa Chups. And the taste is amazing. Meet the new cocktail of this summer. It's pink Chupa Chups flavored lemonade. Miss Ratatouille comes back from her walk. She has collected some unusual autumn leaves. Melt confectionery glaze in a double boiler. Cover mint and basil leaves with a layer of glaze. Wait for it to harden. Cut the edges following the shape with a knife and remove the leaves. You get leaf imprints on glaze. Professor Foodie knows all kinds of plants, but she has never seen such weird leaves before. Apparently, they only grow on sugar trees. Miss Ratatouille got very cold on her way to the lab. Strong winds are way too cold for her subtle dietary nature. Poor thing! She is all bundled up, but she's still cold. The professor makes hot tea for her guests to warm her up. It's amazing basil tea! The professor brews mint and basil leaves in hot water. The basil colors the water a rich burgundy. It's time for a magical experiment. Foodie squeezes orange juice into the cup and the burgundy drink turns lighter right before their eyes. Now let's add some sugar. 
and the warming citrus flavored basil mint tea is ready. Miss Ratatouille definitely likes this herb cocktail. It warms her up and gives her a boost of energy. Did it get too hot in the lab? Miss Ratatouille takes out her Sprite just in time. That's exactly what Professor Foodie needs for her new experiment with gummy candies. Put gummy candies of different shapes and colors into an ice cream mold. Cover them with Sprite and freeze. Take out the candy ice cream when it's ready. Miss Ratatouille, this is a true sacrifice for science sake. Sprite became the base for a new kind of ice cream. In that case, the critic wants to taste it, but she takes out an empty container. Well, Foodie has an excellent tasty ice cream. The stress test is continuing. Come on, Ratatouille, try one more time. The critic gets lucky this time. She takes out Sprite ice cream. Mmm! The taste is so special. Miss Ratatouille wants to taste all kinds of weird ice cream. She was so lucky until now. But now she takes out a stick without ice cream. It's all right, Ratatouille. Maybe next time. Miss Glutton's taken a pen. I hope she isn't going to eat it. Still, I have nothing to write her a message with. Then I'll use a banana. Leave a message on the banana peel using a toothpick. After a while, the message darkens so that you can read it. I leave the banana message for my colleague. Great! She writes a reply to me. We've invented a banana messenger in the laboratory. It doesn't need the internet. Send your messages without climbing down the palm. The young student suggests doing another experiment. She takes milk and food coloring. Pour some milk onto a plate. Add different colorings. Apply liquid soap on a Q-tip and dip it into the milk. The coloring creates intricate patterns. The plate looks like it's alive. It's true magic! You can never stop watching these transitions of colors. These awesome experiments will make it possible for the student to get the Nobel Prize. Keep it up! Melissa wants to make her Fanta colder, but there is no more ice in the entire lab. Then Professor Yum Yum comes up with a plan A. Use nitrogen, liquid nitrogen. It makes everything cold right away. Put on thick rubber gloves to work with it. Liquid nitrogen is non-toxic and non-explosive, but it has a property to freeze any product. This is why you should keep in mind safety measures and never let it get onto your skin. Always work in thick rubber gloves. Pour Fanta into a bowl with liquid nitrogen. It freezes in a few seconds. Oh! We've got a year's supply of liquid nitrogen. Once it gets into a bowl, it starts boiling. It steams a lot. Pour in Fanta and stir. Now your Fanta will get cold at once. Oops! Professor must have overdone it a bit. The liquid nitrogen doesn't influence the taste or the smell. It just gets it frozen. I'm doing an experiment and Professor Yum Yum keeps sticking her nose into my business. Oops! She drops her Oreo into my liquid nitrogen. Let's see what will happen to it. Put an Oreo into liquid nitrogen. You can take out a hard cookie covered with frost in a moment. If you hit it, it breaks into crumbs. To maintain the integrity of the experiment, Professor Yum Yum drops another cookie into the liquid nitrogen. There you go! Now there is an Oreo floating in my experiment. I take the cookie out. It gets frozen right away as expected. Take your frozen cookie back and stop spoiling my experiment. Professor Yum Yum is going to eat Nutella in peace and quiet. That is not happening. Her assistant has no mercy. No product escapes from the nitrogen experiment. Put a teaspoon of Nutella into liquid nitrogen. The chocolate spread turns into a hard mass in a few seconds. Nutella gets completely hard. Now it's a chocolate candy, except that it is frozen. Take care of your tongue. Melissa brings donuts. 
But she doesn't expect that Professor will sacrifice her donut to science. Pour liquid nitrogen onto the donut. It immediately gets covered with an icy crust. While Professor takes a close look at her donut, I enjoy eating my sweet and warm one, and Professor Yum Yum can't even break her experimental donut to see if the filling is frozen. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss the most amazing experiments in the Troom Troom Lab.